What's going on, everybody? Starting the week off with a mail week, I guess you could say. Just a few cards that came in last week. I think most of these I picked up on whatnot um, between Polo Stream and I forget what his name is, but he go has this little icon. I gave a sticker. So it wasn't bad. Most of the stuff I got at like 50% of what recent sales are. So I can't complain at all on to it. So first up, this will go out to get graded. Chris Olave, no huddle. Um, that's out of 10. Now, if you guys look here in the sticker, see where that line is? That's all on sticker. So we're kind of curious. Will they grade the sticker as being part of the card or not? Because that line's not on anywhere else. So we'll figure it out, see what happens. But it's something I've always wondered about. Never really paid much attention. We're going to give it a shot. Being out of 10. So... Up next, Kevin Garnett. This is the mojo. Good old KG, if it'll focus. It's focusing, kind of. Look pretty good overall. It's numbered out 25. A lot of people always looking for this guy's autograph at the shows. But I decided I'm going to grade that before I put it out. Everybody's always asking for this guy, Desmond Ritter, for the Falcons. This is the pace hit, which like you get one of three. But Razzle Dazzle, he's only sell for like 60 bucks. But nothing big, but just something for display. Up next, Jalen Green, sophomore contenders auto. I'd rather buy this stuff raw than <laughs> trying to pull in packs. There's a little bit of whiting on to it. I just wasn't going to grade it. It's numbered out of 49. Stuff's really, really cheap. And if the Lakers would happen to win this year, this is really going to go up. I got this for like... $55, and I want to say we looked at this at like a $100 to $110 card. So, wasn't it for much? Fair, what the heck? Worst case scenario, it does have a 10 auto. I know it's a 9, it's not a kid case, so there's no subgrades, but something different for the show, for the showcase. Finally, this one I know came out of Sappy. Um, I know how hard Prism is to grade this year, and these red gold waves are very, very hard. And to get a 10 on this, I believe this is a pop one still today. I like this kid. I um, think he'll do well. I don't think he's going to be like the next Michael Jordan or Kobe or Iverson, etc., etc. But I think he has a lot of upside to him. I'm not telling you all to go out and buy him. Let me buy him. But um, these were are like 100 bucks. When you start thinking about multipliers onto it's definitely, definitely around a three to four hundred dollar card. Uh, my guess would be more towards the three. Other people have told me four, but I think it's really sharp looking. I kind of like it because some people call it a jersey match card in a way and stuff like that there. But just something different for the showcase. That's it for pickups, guys. Um, other than I believe it just got mailed out today, I picked up a LeBron James. I want to say, I forget what it is, but it's a prime patch, so it's numbered out of 25, and so it has like three colors to it. It's probably a 20-year-old card, um, just by me thinking off. No, it can't be 20. I'm trying to think how old it is. It's probably 15 years, somewhere around there. Well, anyhow, let me, let me look it up here. I don't want to lie to you guys. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, I lied. It's a 10-year-old card. It's from uh, First Year Titanium. And it's the uh, Prime Patch, which is out of 25, PSA 8 on it. I know Raw, those do around 250, so an 8, give it a little bit more. But knowing how hard and scarce those high grades are, no idea what it's worth. But once that comes in, I'll just throw it up on Instagram. You guys can check it out on there or on the Discord. Barnett, quick mail week. Hopefully some PSA starts moving here this week or next week. This weekend, I will be at the J&J &J All-Star Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Next week, I don't think I have a show the following week. I don't want to lie to you guys. Let me look real quick on my calendar. So if any of you guys are up that way, want to meet up. Okay, the 27th is Memorial Day weekend. That is the Newburgh, Indiana show and a Lexington card show. I will not be set up in Lexington, but I may head out to it. And then June 3rd, I am set up at the Derby City card show in Louisville, Kentucky. Come by. 
one person is winning a framed autographed jersey from me. But you have to be present to win because I am not shipping that. So if everybody comes down to those shows, you might want to come down for this. Uh, June 10th, you guys already know, Midwest Monster. I will be up there, not set up. I'm just going as a buyer. And then the following one will be uh, the J&J All-Star Show on the 24th of June. So you guys pretty much have my schedule on out. I do know Salem is running the same day as the show that I'm setting up at Derby City. But, hey, nothing against um, Salem, but Chad, Scott, and them, they supported me for so long. I will always set up at their shows. They do a good job. I'm not saying Salem doesn't do a good job at all. He does a really good job out there as well, too. But uh, Louisville just a little bit closer for me on a drive as well. So if you guys are out towards Salem and it's closer for you, the Salem's card show is going on. But check out the Derby City card show. I will get a preview up once I get the framed, the frame in to put the jersey into. Um, and that will be given away at Derby City card show. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. See you next one.